Oh man, oh man, it is FOMC day, baby. FOMC. We are live. We are doing it. What's good? What's good? Hello, hello. You see what I'm looking at? Welcome. POV action here, my friends. Watch me just get rich, rich, rich today. It's FOMC day. Who's excited? I'm excited. We're ready to go. All right, all right. So, pulling up the QQQ here, we've got a couple things to look at here. Pivot points, pivot point. We're pretty much in the middle between those two pivot points there on the chart currently. So, we're right there, baby. We are, we're so damn close to that. We are so, so close. So, let's see what happens here today. QQQ, hit that like button, subscribe button if you haven't already. And looking at the NASDAQ right now. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at it. So. Let's take a look at the bigger time frames. We got about six minutes till market open. Uh, market opens. Till FOMC. We've got a couple of levels here. We got this 230 area support kind of right now. Um, overnight. And then we've got this, I think like this, you know, this 320 level to the upside to take out. And then after that, that pivot point at the 375s. Currently, I'm not really bearish or bullish, to be honest. I don't really know um, exactly what's going to happen here, obviously, but we will find out. We know uh, pretty much kind of looking here at the hourly chart, kind of what is going on in terms of levels and just kind of going sideways right now. And it's not really like if you look here, Wix, Wix, kind of Wix is chop action here. So the market on pins and needles to find out what's going to happen when this news comes out. So. A little fucker, Johnny Instantinitis, coming here and spamming his channel on my channel. That's not how you do it, bro. That's not how you do it. Oh, buddy. They'll learn. The young boys will learn one day that that's not how you get famous on YouTube. You got to talk shit about people on YouTube to get famous. Going and uh, commenting at people's live streams never works very well. Can you trade with Apex during the FOMC meeting? Um, I believe you could trade the, uh, you know, during the press conference. I think, what, you got to wait two minutes till after, a minute till after the actual news comes out here. Um, is this, what took me so long to start? Uh, well, uh, the, the news. The news. We are sitting back here waiting and watching. There's zero new. I thought there was a news restriction with Apex. There are zero. Okay, sick. What's your take on this news release? Uh, the market's gonna pop off today. We'll find out. I mean, I I don't know. We're gonna do, we're gonna see here. So. We got four. We got four um, minutes here. If you're looking right now, we've got these are four. Mo there's four monitors. Four minutes, four monitors. So they're vertical monitors, and it really allows me to put uh, all my charts right up in plain view to see everything. So it's a uh, four four K vertical monitors. I think they're thirty four inch. 34 inches so we are getting ready right now like I said looking at the QQQ here we got a pivot point 440 pivot point 3 437 the middle bang 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 up down there and uh, we've got three minutes here three minutes my friends it is time FOMC ba, 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 ba. so normally you know the news comes out whatever the interest rate happens and then after the interest rate happens, we've got the FOMC press conference as well. So the press conference will get another move. So 
I normally would say the three o'clock to four o'clock time is the best time to trade, so. We'll see right now, the dollar just kind of grinding lower. The ES right here. Uh, sitting right at the VWAP right now. We got the VWAP pretty much flat. 12,280 there on the VWAP. Let's see how it plays. Let's see how it plays. Normally, the, the old saying is basically the first move is the wrong move. Or the first move is the fake move, the trap. So, we will see how volatile we get here today. Market has obviously been going sideways all day, pretty much in this range that we've been in since, uh, like, last Friday. From the 18100 to 18400 level. So. Let's see what happens. 18, pretty much 18,000, 18400 level are going to be the kind of top and bottom of that range there. So above that, below it, we'll see what happens. Will we race directly there? We're going to find out here in about one minute. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, my friends. FOMC. If you haven't already liked that, if you haven't already liked the stream, you know what to do. Let's do it now. Let's do it now, now, now. 20 seconds. Count it down with me. Jerome Powell ready to move the markets. <sighs> Jerome Powell on the main stage. Interest rate decisions. Here we go. Straight up. 34s. Will this be the fake? And now the spy, QQQ straight up here. Not really doing much right now. Just kind of chopping between that 340 level we talked about earlier. That was the kind of the opening high. And moving it back down now. So they break through that 40 level. This thing probably rips pretty quickly. So there's that ripper trying to rip, rip, rip. Up there to the 40, 43, 45s. There's that push right through the 40s now, up there to the 57s. Seeing if we can keep going straight up here. Trying to push that 375 area next to get pushed. And then I'm looking for take profit above the 80s possible. There's that 71 push. We're pushing straight up here. Looking for a break through the 80s. I am long. Looking for a push up here. See if we get it all the way through the 75s. Stuck at the 71s there. I'm long from the 300s, by the way. Some volatility right here. Things not working. I 
Go get See if we can push through the 80s here. The five minute chart, by the way. Trade bait's been lagging. You guys lagging on trade bait? A little bit of lag here. See if we get this push through the 80s. We need to get through the 50s right here, obviously. The ES trying to push up here. NASDAQ trying to push up. See this push to the 80s right here, right now. He's trying. Trying to go. 75 break through the 80s. 77's right there. Let's go into the 80s, boys. Woo, buddy. Let's go. Let's go! 91s, 95s. What did I tell you? Go ahead and just hit that like button, baby. Like, like it, like it up. Look at it, still going. 97s. Do you not love it? Do you not love it? Like I said, right through the 80s, up there through the 400s now. Come on, people. The pivot point there at the 53s, from the 53s up there through the 400s. Woo, buddy. You can trade with this during this time, yes. Two minutes. Some of the prop firms have a one minute rule. Some of them don't don't look into what prop firm you use, obviously. Figure it out here, my friends. You gotta know what you're doing. Read the rules. You gotta read the rules. Whatever prop firm you're trading with, make sure you understand the fucking rules, guys. Don't be a dumb dumb. Don't be a dumb dumb, okay? No dumb dumbs allowed. Oh man. That was fun. That was a good one. A little ripper there. I saw that push up there. I wanted that push up the, through the 80s. And well, there we go. It's off to the races. The uh, NASDAQ holding there at the VWAP straight up there to the 400s. We talked about this 370 level, that 365, that pivot point there. Look at it push. So now we got more news coming out 2.30. We'll have the press conference. We'll see what happens here, obviously. Um, but yeah, nice and easy, my friends. Nice and easy here today. Like that easy money here. Dollar still dumping. NASDAQ trying to push through the 400s here. Probably going to find some trouble for now. That key level 400s. A little bit of trouble there. Pulling back into the 60s again. That pivot point down there at the 55s. Oh, buddy. Some decent selling coming in here now.
Decent selling pressure. All right, now what do we get? Five minute chart, back to the pivot point there. Got a minute left, minute 20 left on that five minute candle here. Fifteen minute chart stuck right there at that pivot point. We've got that 335 area was the opening high below us right here so at 30 level we kind of we want to stay above that I would say that 30 level here for the bulls we get back below the 30s this thing could start moving back down pretty quickly so we want to be careful the dollar is pushing back up here now if you're long in this area you definitely don't want it just starting to sell 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 again pulling back here you want to keep that kind of I think 50s kind of like you want to keep that 50 area in play there We ran right into that resistance there at the 400, so. Market now pulling back here. Right now we're looking at the five minute chart. Five minute chart here. Got 15 seconds, about to close. Possibly get this pullback into the 300 level VWAP down there, 287s. Not looking good here. VWAP, 300 down there. PW, if I trade on the news on an evaluation and pass, it passes. Yes. Um, you'll get an email later on today. And tomorrow you'll be passed, funded with Apex. Right now, one day, one day pass, one day evaluation going on with Apex if you're Thinking about getting into a prop firm, well, Apex allows you to pass in just one day right now. It's also on sale, 70% off. And a lot of good things going on with Apex right now. So, if you want to learn more, you know what to do. Links down below. Use the code PW, always for the best deals, obviously. You know I got you. You know I got you, baby. Best deals always with Patrick Whelan. All right, all right, FOMC, the madness. It's happening. We're doing it live. Watching to see what happens here now. Got down there to the 24s, bounce back up into that 50 level again. Oh, buddy. Dollars pulling back. NASDAQ's trying to push up here. Maybe some more chop until the 2.30 meeting. All right, that pivot point right there at the 55s. Will that turn into support here and try to push us higher? 
We've got a lot of stuff going on to the 80s or the 400s in terms of resistance on the bigger time frames. Dollar, the NASDAQ is kind of chopping around here now. Trying to be patient and see, kind of let this thing do something here at this level. See if we hold that 40 level. No, I think 40 is about to get taken out there. Just holding there at the 40s again. Dollars pushing back up with strength. See what happens. The dollar can push it back up. NASDAQ loses his 40 level. All right, NASDAQ got the VWAP down there, 287 VWAP to the downside there. 300, kind of a key level. ES looking a little bit weaker right now. NASDAQ kind of holding up here. Should kind of take out this level here.
Down there into the 20s now. Market waiting for a press conference. All right, we got the 2.30 press conference coming out. So right now, just consolidating back down towards this kind of 300 level VWAP down there, 290, this little area here looking like. So just kind of continuing to pull back here now. Just uh, sitting here looking at all the different time frames. Which way are we going to go? Where are we going to go? How low can we go? How high can we fly? Time is at 2.19. Still got about 11 minutes. I think the 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock time frame probably going to be a little bit better price action here. Patience is king. We know there's, uh, there's better stuff to come. Looking here at the 15 minute chart, we got above that 3.30 level, which was resistance from earlier. And now we're back into this kind of range again. So just kind of bleeding out back down as we go. So trying to be patient here to uh, see how this goes. I'm still with my lady. If the reversal strategy is, you said is accurate, does that mean we reverse later? I mean, you know, it's it's uh it's a hundred percent uh right ninety nine percent of the time. Fifty percent, it's a hundred percent right uh twenty percent of the time. All right, a little bit of a breakout here now. Maybe if we get above this kind of fifty five sixty level, turn it into support, get another trend. We got that pivot point 440s on the NASDAQ here. So let's see, 55s there. 55, I'm watching over here. I got all these screens pulled up, I'm watching different time frames. If you're looking right now, kind of where I'm looking at, I got my two minute chart, I got my 15 minute chart. So I'm kind of always just keeping an eye on all of the different time frames, how they line up, what we're looking at. We got different, we got the ETFs, the QQQ, the SPY, the ES, and all of that fun stuff. So I'm looking at everything, baby. I got everything pulled up for you guys. I'm seeing the whole entire market as it's happening, right? I'm seeing it's happening right now. So well, let's go. The market trying to push back up here now. And uh, yeah. Do you prefer the vertical monitors over your others? Yes, I do. I like the vertical. You can put more, uh, more stuff on there. Are you now entering your trades on the five minute or are you still entering on the one minute? Normally like the two minute chart, I guess, is kind of what I'm looking for. Like right now, two minute chart trying to break out here. Problem with this is we have that pivot point right there at the 54s. So what I would like to see is kind of, let's get above that, turn this pivot point into support before kind of calling this really a breakout. It could be another little fake out with that pivot point resistance there. So being that close to the pivot, I don't want to buy, like I don't want to get long right here, knowing that there's a pivot right there. So I want to be careful with that. Just because we're breaking out of this downward trend does not mean we're going to go higher. With that pivot point right there, you know, there's some some trouble there, my friends. We don't want to get long right at the, right, right before the pivot at least. Nothing wrong with being patient and we can wait and we'll be patient and we'll wait. And then when this gets above there and turns it into support, once we are like, oh, hey, look, now it's acting as support, then then that is when we will capitalize right now pushing up there 53 54s let's see if that pivot's going to act as resistance there see what i said see what i mean see what i mean look it just happened 
It went up there to that pivot, got denied, and pulled right back. So if you got long there at the 55s, well, right now you're down 10 points. And I don't want to be down 10 points. No, I do not. Thank you very much. If anything, at least, you know, I might not be the best trader in the world, but at least I can help you guys avoid some stupid shit. Right? Help you avoid getting long right before the fucking pivot point. You know? I'm, that's, I'm here for you. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help you guys. We got seven minutes until the press conference, and then uh, hopefully we get some better price action after the press conference. Not really that huge of a move, a hundred point move after that. I mean, no, I mean normally, I would say normally, but a lot of times we get some pretty drastic, you know, hundred points up, hundred points down, five, you know, crazy all around. But right now we're still kind of just holding up here, uh, pretty pretty well. So. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means the Bulls are in control and we're gonna stay here and maybe push up or if uh, this is the pump before the dump. That's the best part about being a trader. We don't really have to know exactly what this means. We just gotta trade the action the way we see it. Not try to predict what's gonna happen, but try to anticipate. See, see the market before it moves. Be the water. We want to be water, 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 water. Be the water. I got the LG monitors. We're looking at the LG monitors. LG monitors, I think they're 34 inch, 32 inch monitors, 4K. High quality, high quality. Water can also crash. What? I don't know about that. Pivot point, uh, acting as resistance right now at the 56s. We got the VWAP down there at the, at the uh, 280, 290 uh, level there. So just waiting to uh, see if we get some better price action once, once the news comes out or once the press conference actually starts happening here. Happening. If you look at the bigger time frames, I mean, it's really kind of bullish consolidation so far right here 15 minute chart we're pretty much right there at the close of that last candle little dip down here to previous resistance area i wouldn't say all hope is lost for the bulls just yet so not all is lost just yet Market sitting right there at that pivot point for now. Right there, baby. Again, kind of double topped right there at the 55 area. Dollar is pulling back here a little bit. Right now, pretty much that the Bulls got to get it above 55. That's what they're, I would say, they're the line in the sand here for the Bulls. Got to get it through the 55s there. Below the 55s, the Bears holding it down here. So watch that 55 level. If we push straight through 
55 and see if we start pushing back up. There's that push up there already. Wowzers. They're trying to push it up here. Nice. Right up there into the Zebedees. Let's go. Beautiful. I got a long right there. Right there from the 55s up there to the 69s for that push. Like I said, that 55 break out there. Look at it. Still going. I'll take some profit though. Just logging it down right there. Let's go. Market push, push through, right through the 55s, up there to a high so far of 75. 20 points for the 55 break. You heard it first. There is no consistency rule in the evaluations. I saw somebody asking about consistency rule. You do not, there is no, you could pass the evaluation in just one day. Look at this thing, still going. Oh, buddy. From the 55s now, up there to the 90s already. Wowzers. Anybody else still long from the 55s? Look for this breakthrough of the 400s there. Cool. 91's pulling back here. Okay, back to the pivot point. This is what we're looking for. That 55 area down there. We get that 55 area. Watch that 55 area turn into support. We talked. I literally drew this out. Remember, we drew this little liney thingy. We talked about this. Well, not like that. I did it like this. So it was like. Or wait, wait. It was like this. It was like this. Like that. <laughs> All right. We need that 55 area support here. We got, oh, this is, uh, it's 2.30, so it's time. Time for FOMC press conference. Get some wild and crazy action here now. Fifty five obviously not acting as support right now. Fifty fives. Phoenix Trades said he has 35 contracts long. Looking for a move to the 440s. He's in at the 52s. I'm praying for you, my friend. I am praying for you. I'm not too sure. I don't know if that's going to work out. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Shatoshi Dono, using my code, let's go. If you're going to sign up for Apex, use the code PW to get the best deals always. Always the best deals with PW. If you guys haven't hit that like button, check out that uh, 
a like button down there. You just move your little mouse right on down there, hit that like button, and uh, I've I've heard that it's good luck. It's like rubbing the Buddha belly, you know. Um, so. Everybody keeps asking about the 30% consistency. I think I've talked about it before. The biggest thing with Apex with consistency is you just can't like fucking have, you know, you can't have one big profit day. You can't make $10,000 in one day. And then the rest of the time when you're trading, you only, tr you know, make fucking $5. You know, you've got to, you got, you got to be consistent. It's not so much about consistent profits. It's about consistently trading. Meaning that you can't trade 20 contracts on Monday and then only trade micros the rest of the week. You know, that's the biggest thing. The NASDAQ, that VWAP down there, 293. Do I listen to FOMC or, or react to the price action? I just react to the price action. Definitely not trying to listen. Right now, Apex is 80% off. It's one day to pass, 50% off, so. And right back down there to the 300s now. Do, do, do. Oh, buddy. She's a mover. Lost that 300 level here. Things get interesting below 300s. Things get interesting. They really kind of want to hold up that 300 level, you know, that, that 300 level they want to hold up. I'm telling you, that's a, a good level to hold up right there. Look at that, from the 300s back out of the 340s. 40 point ripper right there. I heard, I heard that Jerome Powell farted. He just farted and market made a move. They were like, wait, what'd you say? He's like, oh, sorry, I just, just a uh, little gas. A little gas right there. Oh, buddy. Welcome to FOMC day, baby. She goes up, she goes down, she goes every different direction. It's wild. Wild Wednesdays, FOMC. Jerome Powell turning the market upside down. Oh, baby Jesus. They like to the VWAP, I think. What do you guys, I mean, that VWAP is holding up. Holding up there, VWAPer. VWAP, VWAP, VWAPs. Where's Michael at? Michael said the VWAP doesn't matter. Well, looks like it matters, Michael. <laughs> I just try to picture Michael sitting there telling me, it doesn't matter. The VWAP doesn't matter. The VWAP's not real. The VWAP's not real. Wow. 
Wow. Oh, baby Jesus. Welcome to fucking FOMC day, baby. The shorts, the longs, everybody getting fucked. That's why you gotta love it. I mean, if we get through 80, I'd say we gotta go through the 400s next. That 440 pivot point to the upside there, so. We'll see. You probably just wait for the 400 break again. Or if you want to be crazy, just jump in right now and just hold it to 440. Crazy people out there in the chat. This is obviously not financial advice. I'm an idiot on the internet. Please never buy or sell anything because somebody on the internet told you that it was a good idea. Trading is very difficult. You might lose everything. I would never do it. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. Don't try. Whatever you do, do not try to be a trader. Worst idea ever. If you're still here, welcome to the party. Let's go. Right now, the dollar looking weak. Dollar trying to make a new low here. The NASDAQ trying to make a new high. I like the look of things here. Can we get some follow through though? Get that follow through this level here, straight through the 80s next. Need that follow through. You know, you know what I'm putting down, y'all picking up what I'm putting down here? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Follow through needs to happen here. We get through the 80s, I think 40s is just sitting there. 400s is just sitting there. And then that pivot point at the 440s. You know? Know what I mean? Just don't know how it don't get hit. Don't you want somebody to love? Don't you need somebody to love? Watching this 80 level here. Which way are we gonna go? Right now consolidating here. Hopefully Jerome Powell stops talking and we can start rocking. Send it to the moon, boys. Send it to the fucking moon. Trying to push. Trying to push through the 80s here. Dollar continuing to make new lows. There's that push through the 80s now. Let's go straight up here. 400s coming up there next. There's that 400 push. Got to get through that high there at the 405s.
400, 400 break. Trying to get this move here, trying to get this move through the 400s. We pushed up to the high again, got stuck. Pow, still speaking. Ah. And back to the pivot point again. Bray Bray just passed his first evaluation. Let's go. Questions. FOMC press conference questions coming up here. There's a push through the 400s. As I'm looking at my phone here. Look at that ripper. 400 pushing. Can't stop, won't stop, they said. At 4.15 breaks, we go 4.30, 4.40s. Let's see. Everybody. This 4.15 break. 4.15 push in. Up there to the 4.20s. Get that 440 pivot point to the upside there. 440 pivot point. Four twenty two high so far. Four forty pivot point to the upside there. It's coming. She wants it. You know those pivot points love to get touched. Oh buddy. Four thirties coming up. There's four thirties, four forties. Can it get tapped? Four thirty four. Oh, dollar is dumping. 440s is going to get hit right here, right now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Pivot points, baby. Pivot points. You got to love it. Brittany, third account. Pass. Let's go. Right now, Apex is one day. You still got plenty of time. 247, you can get the one, the 50K, you can pass a 50K evaluation with basically a $3,000, one con, uh, 10 contracts in and out, especially in type of momentum. Obviously, there's risk as well, but when the market wants to push, the market wants to push, my friends. Let's go. All right. All right. Still going here. Look at this thing. Up there to the 445s now. Like we said, that pivot point. What's funny 
What's real fucking funny about this, if you go back, you rewatch this live stream. After this stream is over, you can go back, you can rewatch it, right? And I talked about this happening, this idea right here, kind of the idea of getting above the pivot point, turning it into support. We didn't do it right there. We pulled back to the VWAP first, but look at this move. We pulled back right to that VWAP, or right to that pivot point twice, and then got that breakout up there, that pivot there at the 440s. So that's, uh, that's how she goes. The two minute breakout strategy there. You gotta love the, you gotta love it. You gotta love the VWAP. I really do love, honestly though, you think about it, any type like this, uh, honestly, like if I, if I was gonna talk to you guys friend to friend, right? Like you guys are my friends, I'm your friends. We're all here. We're looking at the charts. You see everything that I'm looking at, right? Just give me your ear. Just let's talk for a minute. Let's just talk while this market continues to push higher. We're watching this happen right now, FOMC. So we pull this up, we look at the chart. What do we got here, right? We got the breakout, we got this beautiful breakout setup. We get up here, pivot point, we pull back, and then we got a couple things here, pretty much retesting the middle of this breakout candle right there to pull back support. We've got the VWAP right there acting as support as well, and then this beautiful push. So when all those things are lining up, when all those, when it's, I call it the silver lining, right? That's the silver lining. You can buy my book, learn more about it. I don't have a book, but maybe I'm going to write one anyway, and I'm going to coin it the silver lining of trading. When there's th the, the, the three, the things are all mixing up, looking good together, that's when you want to get in. But honestly, think about it. All right, what was the most obvious move there? All right, what was the most obvious move? Test the fucking VWAP, rip it higher. Fuck the shorts, rip it higher. Pivot points, they love to get touched. The 440 pivot point got touched. The 350 area turned into support, ripped higher. You, you just gotta love it. Pivot points, the setup. I mean, you can get rid of all these other indicators, you know, and it's just magically VWAP, it's magically pivot points. Don't make it fucking hard. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't watch fucking ICT. Don't watch these fucking other people on the internet. Only watch Patchy Wheel. And honestly, though, be seriously, though, think about it. VWAP, pivot points. VWAP, pivot points. Don't go over, over complicating it, okay? Don't go over complicating it. Very simple. I use just the basic VWAP here, guys. Very basic VWAP. Do, do, do. Nothing fancy. I'm not like changing the settings. I don't have some magical bullshit to sell you. You got the pivot points. It's all just stock. That's the best part about it. People are like, what are your settings? What are your settings that you use for trading? How do you trade and make money? What are your settings? I don't change shit. I literally just leave it. I don't read motivational books. I don't fucking watch idiots on the internet teaching people how to day trade. Wait, I, might, I might be myself, but either way, I trade price action, VWAP, pivot points, very clean, very simple, and I think it's one of the cleanest ways to trade. Look at this, again. Little pullback here, holding around the VWAP. Do, do, do! Think about that. Do, do, do! Where's she going from here? I don't know. Where's the next level? We got a pivot point all the way up there at the 18,595s. I like the two-minute chart right now. We're looking at the two-minute chart. You can use different time frames. The five-minute chart, you can see the setup there, the breakout off of the VWAP there. I don't know, if you, you could, the thing is, if you wait for every, if you wait for every setup to touch the VWAP, you're gonna miss out on some setups. But, when it looks this good, when it works out this beautifully, you gotta be like, damn. Like, that's all you gotta do. It's all you gotta do. So, look at that pivot point, still pushing. 445s. The trade that we were looking for here was this push above the 50s. I talked about this 80 breakout here from the 80s up there to that 440 level through the 400s. I think we talked about it earlier, just like, fuck it. Once you break 400s, you look for the breakout set up there, but you gotta love it. So the two minute chart is kind of my go-to when it comes to my entries, right? I'm looking at the two minute chart and then I'm jumping like to maybe the five minute chart and being like, okay, what's the five minute chart looking like? I see the five minute chart. But the thing is, I've got a lot of different setups here. I got this setup, this setup, this setup. I got the 15 minute chart, the hourly, I've got it all. I've really been, I've honestly been trading a lot more with the hourly chart in mind. I know that sounds funny, but like, the hourly chart for me has been a lot more clear 
the more that I focus on like what the market's doing by looking at the hourly chart, it really is like, oh. Like look at this hourly uh, setup here. That breakout, like that breakout setup there on the hourly chart, and it's just been from the 290s. I wanna look at this from like, basically, let's look at it like this. I wanna see the high on that candle right there on the hourly was 91, right? 91 on that high. Market's still pushing up here. I just want to see something here, right? I just want to see something real quick. All right, like the high right there. So you got the hourly chart. This is the hourly chart we're looking at. Look at that hourly candle to break out. Let's switch over to the five minute chart now. And look at that. Is it magic? I don't know. I don't know if it's magic, but it's something. But what I point out here is the fact that we broke out there on the hourly chart and look, look what happened. We never got below that breakout level really again. So good thing to think, good thing to look at. Hourly chart, keep an eye on it. Be like, oh, okay. Think about those levels. You know, where are we go? What's going on? Hourly chart, we just broke out. Where's our next level? I don't know, three fucking 40 from there. And then you got the push. There was a pivot there at the 75, 375s. Okay. It all lines up. What's funny too is just kind of look here. Again, it's all just comedy when you look at it. When you really look at it, we pushed up right through there. We kind of bounced off there, kind of interacted with that level that was resistance earlier, and then made that rocket launch up there to the pivot. So you got to love it. You got to love it. So I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. So. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. right now, pulling up my, I pull it up, <laughs> pulling up my thing, jiggy here, window capture, there it is, all right, so, pulling up my Apex accounts, yes, we did lose, we, I, Trade of eight was lagging like crazy, and the trade copier did not close out um, like these two counts for some reason. I don't know. So we got a few more 50k evaluations passed today. We've got one, two. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen uh, funded accounts with profit today. And yeah, so after we'll have 19 after today, and this we could probably pass one more later on today. But that's what I got right now. So that was my kind of FOMC heyday. Definitely made a lot. I would say we probably made a little bit too much money today, to be honest. But whatever, I think we'll be fine. We'll be okay. I've had pretty consistent like two thousand, three thousand dollar days, um, in some of these value, uh, in some in some of the PA accounts. So. I should be all right. I'll be all right. So there it is. FOMC. It's almost three o'clock. Market making moves. Two o'clock move. The two thirty move. And now look what happened. The pivot point. Four forty. If you got long at fucking four forty, I feel sorry for you. That's a little silly, right? You being a little silly. Be a little silly there. So. A U Shing, explain your trading strategy. I think I just did. I think I just explained it. I just explained it. So. Fuck it. I think it's time just to walk away. I think it's time to walk away here. We made the easy money. Or at least we made some money. Kareem Baker says, I quit trading today. Well, someone's got to lose. <laughs> uh.
Um, I'm using the Apex. Uh, well, I'm using the Trade of Eight, just uh, copy or whatever. Daniel Reyes, I need to dedicate a video on my strategy. Ugh. 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 There's like a thousand videos on my YouTube channel that are dedicated. Ugh. Josh, he's up $11,000 in 13 days in his 50k PA. That's pretty fucking good, my friends. You cannot trade the news with Apex, Patrick. Well, good thing I didn't trade the news today, Joey. 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 <laughs> Fucking Joey, man. Why people always gotta talk? Why they always gotta be talking? Don't don't be talking. Don't don't talk. Get out of the chat. Can you trade the news with the evaluation account? I believe you can. Um, yeah. Yeah, with the evaluations, I don't think there's any rules about news. Only with the uh, actual funded accounts, maybe. You used to make fun of people who use larger time frames. Definitely need a new strategy. Wait, I never made fun of people that use... I made fun of people that use four hour fucking, that only trade on the four hour chart. That's what I made fun of. I've, al I've always used higher time frame, time frames to figure out where the mar what's going on with the market. I just made fun of Tory trades for literally only trading on the four hour chart with the, with trend lines. Like this is pretty much how Tory trades would trade this is uh on the four hour chart just just trend lines baby it would work today four hour chart trend line break was pretty fucking clean today honestly so zero day j Daniel Reyes, Patrick, you've had lots of green days with Apex. How come no payout? Well, lots of green days don't mean you get a payout automatically. You can have lots of green days and it only takes one red day to not have a green day. I see you spamming it in the fucking chat. Relax, Daniel. <laughs> like, I, I'm, I've told people, I've already talked about it. I've blown up plenty of funded accounts I've never denied that fact I don't post on Twitter saying that I never blow up accounts like some influencers I just honestly have not gotten to a point where I got fucking 10 days I know it sounds stupid trust me it fucking is sounds sounds really stupid I agree if anyone's talking shit it's me talking shit on myself about it because it's it's frustrating You need to watch Nutty Bar to get some payouts. Yeah, I'm going to work on that. And the market right now just chopping around here. 440s. At that pivot point, you gotta love it. Why you? Why haven't you gotten a big payout? Every time I see you, you're making big coin. I I don't know, guys. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know what to tell you. 
Hey, if I had an answer, if I had an answer, I'd fucking, I would do it. You know, I don't have an answer to be honest. I don't know. I honestly have no answer. I, I don't know what to tell you. It's like, I honestly, I don't know what to tell you. I was like, what am I going to say? I don't know. That's, you know, like, sure, look, got a lot of profits today. You know, a lot of profits. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 funded accounts with Apex. Plenty of money in them. But does that mean that I won't fucking blow them up, you know, tomorrow? Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, definitely does not mean that. So, I mean... I don't know. I don't have an answer, to be honest. Just being dumb. So. Does it, it does not have to be um, 10 green days in a row. It doesn't. Nice JPEG. What's a JPEG? <laughs> What's a JPEG? Is this a JPEG? <laughs> Look at the JPEG. The JPEG. Look at the JPEG. <laughs> oh, how is it a JPEG? This somebody's gonna comment online and be like, he photoshopped it. That's all Photoshop. He's not real. I'm the best photoshopper on the internet. Thank you very much. This is all f -f Photoshop. It's called Photoshop. I like the Photoshop. I like the people that freak out about the ICT thing whenever I go and uh, and do the the uh, the thingy majiggy. I'm gonna put. I got a new. I got a new thing for. Uh, I get a new a new one. Wait for my tweet. Wait, I got I got a tweet coming up. It's gonna be good. <laughs> gonna be good. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna do some. Uh, hold on one second. I'm gonna do some photoshopping over here. Real quick. Real quick. Market pushing up here, still pushing above that pivot now, up there to the four sixties. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, look at this. This is a funny. This is a funny one. I just put this on Twitter. Oh. <laughs> the funniest was the other day I posted on Twitter about uh, 
I forgot which one it was. I posted uh, a pretty funny. I posted what did I post? I always be posting some crazy shit on Twitter. Where's it at? 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 Oh yeah, I posted this one. People were like, people thought I was serious. Like people really were like, he's, I can't believe like, <laughs> like look at the ranking. One, two, three, one, two, Patrick Whelan. <laughs> people were legitimately like on Twitter posting like, he's, he photoshopped it. He's trying to scam everybody. It's not the real one. It's not the real one. Oh, it was a good one. Oh, the secret that I had for today was uh, basically just I wanted to say I have another camera. I got another camera now. I can't. I don't know. I, can't, I gotta like get another. I gotta get another microphone set up. I'm gonna move the camera a little bit more. I gotta move some stuff around here. I'm gonna. Yeah, I got, I got stuff to do. I got work to do here. But that was the big secret for the day. New camera. Wee! Look at that. You can see behind me now. I call it POV. Patrick's point of view. Patrick's point of view. Uh, <laughs> I look at my haircut right now too. It's pretty sick. I cut my own hair the other day. I'm pretty much a barber now. I'm a barber. Look at this thing. Woo! I was paying a hundred bucks to go get a haircut. And now look at me. I look like a million dollars. I look like a million. I look like a million dollars now. Woo! Why would anyone pay? How much you pay for trading views? For trading view or trading views? Because the trading views cost a lot more than trading view. Normally for trading views, for around 2,000 people to watch me live stream, I pay about $5 um, per person. It's expensive to get the trading views. But for the trading view itself, um, I think I pay, uh, what is it? $19, $14 a month, $15 a month. Uh, per bot. You guys are all fake. No one's real here. I love the people on the internet that are now just like commenting and freaking out because I posted a picture of me having four monitors. They're like, he's got four monitors. I, I can't believe he has four monitors. I, I just can't believe it. Ooh, why does he need so many monitors? Why does he need so many? It's very simple actually, because what I want to see is I want to see Multiple charts, multiple time frames, all side by side. I don't want to have to move stuff around. I don't want to fucking have to click different boxes. Yes, I know. You could put multiple charts on multiple for, I know. But this is what I want. This is what I want, people. Why do people get pissed off? Because I want to have four fucking monitors. Who cares? If you want to buy fucking 50 monitors and trade with 50 monitors, who the fuck cares? Who the fuck cares? You know? You're like, who the fuck cares? I don't give a fuck. Get as many monitors as you want. It's the weirdest shit. And hey, and by no means, by no means, by me having four monitors, am I sitting here telling people that you need to have four monitors to trade? You don't. You don't need fucking four monitors. That is not what the point of this is. The point of this is I wanted four monitors because that's what I fucking want. And I bought them. I'm an American. I make money. I pay taxes. I'm going to buy what I fucking want. And also, like, I need room. 
you know, for other stuff. Like, I got the OBS. I got the fucking YouTube bullshit I got to look at. There's other stuff going on. So I obviously need more monitors. You know? God. Can you guys hear that squeaking? I don't know why it's so squeaking. <laughs> That's why you're not getting payouts, I know. Too many monitors. Too many monitors! Once I get, um... Once I get a payout from Apex, I'll buy a new chair. Ugh, trust me, it, it's embarrassing, you know. You got people think that like I'm not embarrassed that I haven't gotten a payout yet from Apex. You got you think that I'm like I'm like proud of that fact. It's embarrassing. I know. Trust me, I'm an idiot. I know. You have four monitors, so when you have a winning trade, you show the screen winning. Meanwhile, the other threes are deep in drawdown. He got me. He figured it out. How did he ever figure it out? He's a genius. The funny part is, I only show, literally, I only trade on one screen here. I have one screen right there. That's the only trade of eight that I have pulled up on this whole entire computer. That's the only one, and that's what you guys see right here. I only have one trade of a screen pulled up on the entire computer. Look. Trading view, 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 trade of eight. The only trade of a screen pulled up. This right here. So yes, I have multiple monitors for multiple accounts for multiple losers. I am so smart. Uh, MK, MKO said that he is a profitable student and he owes $18,000 in payouts to me. Thank you. Thank you. MSE horses, bro, you pushing something that only pays you affiliate money. Is he gone? Is he gone? Is he gone? I'm not even gonna rant. I'm just hoping that he, that he left the chat. He saw me die and he left. I don't know, man. Hey, I, the best part is, like, I, I, not once have I ever claimed to be this, like, a, uh, you know, millionaire day trader. It's, I've literally made full videos on YouTube claiming that I make a majority the thing I'll tell you I'll tell you 100% honest you guys will, it'll blow your mind if you're still watching I might I might have to delete this video afterwards because I might be about to drop some knowledge that like I shouldn't be dropping but I'll be honest with you are you ready for this are you fucking ready for this I'm gonna get ready if this is time every single person on YouTube makes more money from what they're pushing than they do what they actually do. 100%. 100%. If, the guy, if there's a YouTuber that teaches you how to Amazon, how to sell stuff on Amazon, he makes more money from telling you how to do it. If there's a YouTuber 
that teaches you how to start a uh, online boutique. 100%. They make more money teaching you how to do it than they do from the business. If there's a YouTuber who day trades on YouTube, that actually like day trades on YouTube, they make more money than every single person that day trades on YouTube. That, you know what I mean? Like they every, if you have a YouTube and you're pushing products, you 100% make more money. Because honestly, the amount of money that you can make from pushing products and promoting stuff will always be more than you could ever make as a day trader. I know that sounds crazy. I know. I know you guys won't agree with me, but I guarantee it. I guarantee that if you guys actually knew how much money affiliate market, you know, the YouTubers actually made from the affiliate deals, it wouldn't, it would blow your mind. Because like if I made the, if I made the amount of money that I make from the YouTube and all the other stuff from trading, I would be like literally one of the best fucking traders in the world. Like, I would be legitimately the best fucking, like, one of the best fucking traders in the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I would literally be the best fucking trader in the world. You know what I mean? Like, legitimately. I mean, hey, I would, if you think you could be an influencer, more power to you, do it. The market's still pushing up there, up there to the 480s now. Oh, somebody asked about talk, uh, take profit trader. Little do you know, I do trade through Take Profit Trader. So, and I have taken lots of payouts from Take Profit Trader as well. So, I have not gotten a payout with Apex in 2024, but I have taken out lots of money from Take Profit Trader and uh, My Fun of Futures so far this year. I made a video talking about all this, so it's out there. I'm not lying. I'm not hiding it. It's real. The push. Right now, the NASDAQ up there to the 14,485. That 500 level sitting there next. If we look at the bigger time frames, we got resistance coming up here, 500 level. It's gonna be a battleground to get through right there. Through this level, I saw somebody earlier in the chat said that there's no way the market's gonna go up after FOMC. Uh, man. So, a moment of silence for all the people that said the market could not go up today. I really don't know why anybody, why do they even say it? You know, like, why do you, why do they even say it? If anybody in there ever in the chat says that the market's got a guarantee, it's got to go up or down, you, you just know it's not. Why don't you do posts to gauge the sentiment of the people following you for long or short. Ugh, I don't know. I don't have book map pulled up right now on this computer. I got a new computer and I have to log in. I got to set up book map on this. I didn't have time to do it today. So yeah, FOMC. I'm telling you guys, I'm my I'm going to make my own prop firm and we are going to only accept people that lose. If you make money trading, we don't want you. We only want the losers. The bigger the loser, the better. All right? So 
Everybody in my chat can join. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Everybody in my chat, you're in. Danny Trains is starting his own prop firm? No, he's not. Did he really post that? Don't tell me he's doing that. Oh, God. Is he really? Danny Trades? The top is in. Oh, no. I knew it. Fuck. No, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, no, it's not really competition, but the, I don't the best part is like I want my prop firm is literally the, the 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 billboard is going to say do you lose money trading call us we want you It's everything on the website is going to be about like if you're a profitable trader use go somewhere else if you make money trading don't use this prop firm if you lose money comment down below Vag D, how the hell didn't you take a single payout yet in Apex? Have you blown every single PA? Every single one, man. Every single fucking one, boys. I normally don't really trade the PAs one by one. I trade them by, uh, like, in a group, so, like... Yeah, I'm not like, if, if, I, if I blow up one PA, normally it's like, they all blow up, so. That, that, maybe I should start trading one by one, I don't know. Can you write off PA accounts for taxes? Probably. I don't see why you couldn't. I, oh, Vag D, I don't just have a Bronco. I have a Bronco, a Raptor, and F-250 as well. So, a couple of them. You should try to trade your accounts in groups of five. It's not a bad idea. Are you still trading with Take Profit Trader? I am. Still using tra Take Profit Trader. They got a deal going on right now. It's 50% off um, with Take Profit Trader right now, so... You can check it out if you want. OnlyProfFirms.com for all the latest and the greatest. OnlyProfFirms.com OnlyProfFirms.com Didn't work right there. But. How much was my boat? Um... It was 340,000 and then I put new motors on it. So it was um, another 200,000 200, for the motors. So market still pushing up here, just grinding higher. That 55 pivot point, beautiful. Again, the 40 pivot point playing into support here, pushing up there 487s. So look to see what happens. 350 out. Oh, God. 350 algorithm today. Should be some action at 350 today, so keep an eye on it. Dollar looking weak here. NASDAQ trying to still push. End of day. 
see if we push through that uh, 500 level there. I got five on it. Yes, I do. Oh, 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 oh. I got five on it. Still trying to push up here. Another little breakout. I think that kind of 500 level just wants to get pushed through here before the end of the day. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe. Just trying to see. What are the odds that we pull back here? People in the chat said the odds of pulling back here is very high. All in. Long. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But kind of serious. Nah, I'm kidding. 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 Mark, you're getting very tight here. Do we make a new high through the 90s? Uh-oh. I should have went in all in long. Should have went all long, all in long. At the 85s there. I knew it. The chat is always right. Just kidding. Nah, nah, you, you got, it's gonna pull back. It's gonna pull back. I know dollar is trying to make a new low here. If the dollar makes a new low, we push through the 90s here. I think this thing just jumps right up there towards the 500s next. She's trying to get through 90s here. Five oh five level up there. Five oh fives. Out of water. Will the chat be right? Will the chat be wrong? Still gotta, I gotta make that app where it just automatically trades. I'm just seeing an AI program that just automatically reads the chat and whatever people say, it just does the exact opposite. The settings for the pivot point, somebody asked about. Very simple, I don't change any settings. Everybody always asks me this, but I don't change any settings. Nothing fancy. Simple, easy. Done. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. The chat never fails. Uh, up there to the 97s now. I could have got 10 points on that. I fucking knew it. Vag said that when he uh, tries his best to blow a demo account, he usually doubles it. And when he does his best to win, he loses it in one trade. Vag, you should uh, come trade for me. 
Uh, if you guys haven't hit that like button, get some more likes here on the stream. We got uh, 374 likes right now. Let's get some more loving on there, baby. More loving. Come on. If you guys want to learn more about what's popping off in the prop firm space, make sure you check out onlyprofirms.com. We got giveaways. The giveaways automatically you just get picked every month for something goody good, discounts, deals, and all that fun stuff. Dean is still long from 18310. Wowzers. Someone's got fucking diamond hands. Bro, I don't, why do people can't find the pivot points? Why is this so hard? Go to pivot points. Or just go on fucking, just go on there, pivots. Stamp, oh sorry, pivot points standard. That's the actual name of it, my bad. It's pivot points standards. Standard pivot, pivot point standard is the actual uh, metric there. The dollar just made a new low. NASDAQ right below 500 here. We get through this 97 level. I think we get like a 10, 20 point pop through the 500s. What do you think? Getting real tight there. Bouncing off the 85s there again. Getting very tight here. If we're doing it, if we're like to see this kind of pull back, a little reaction to the downside, and then a, another breakout of the upside to get through that 500 level would be ideal for the best possible opportunity here or we rip right through 97s and then try to like get up into that try to get like a 10 to 15 point pop above 500s A niche says walk away or risk it all at 350. 350! 350! 350! 350! 350! I'm gonna stick around until 350. Yeah, why not? I got a I got a fresh 50k combo. Fresh 50 fre a fresh 50k uh evaluation i'll trade it here live at 350 let's see so we got 13 minutes All right, pulling back here. I'm not really a dip buyer. I'm more of a momentum buyer. So it's hard for me just to buy the dip. Just because I just because I drew a trend line here does not mean I'm just going to get fucking long. So 
Let's see what happens. Zero day J. Yeah, I'm sure today FOMC, there's a lot of uh, a lot of people resetting and getting new accounts. So Apex might be a little overwhelmed. QQQ hit three, uh, hit 444. All right, all right. Do -do -do -do. Oh, I would love to own a prop firm right now. That would be nice. On FOMC day, only be open for FOMC day only. There's that little push. Little push here. Little push. Get back above the 90s. See what happens there. 90s got to get through there. 97 was the high there earlier. So now it's just a game of being patient. It's a game of being patient here. Basically looking for like the first candle to make a new high above previous candle. So that 90 level through the 90s here should get us through the 500s next. Right? The high on that candle was 87, uh, 86.75. The high on that candle was uh, 89. So pretty much over the 90s, I think, would be your uh, takeoff point. Takeoff, breakout, breakout point. Dollar dollar bills. Dollar dollar bills. We got about uh, nine minutes here till the 350 algorithm is going to kick in. So, see what happens here today, boys and girls. Three fifty algorithm on a day like today. What do I think? What do I think? Let's think about this. Let's look at the bigger picture here. Shoo, 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 shoo. Shoo, shoo. There's a lot of resistance here at the 500 area. Um, my pivot points on there annoyingly, but I got this chart um, on the hourly. So you can see a lot of, a lot of stuff up here. I think we broke out tomorrow. I don't want to jinx it, but I would say tomorrow we're, we're going higher tomorrow. What do you think? Clearly, we're breaking out there on the hourly chart. So, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, the Bulls. We'll see if they show up. Right now, the market pulling right back down, like I said, was waiting to see... What happened here? No reason to get long until we made a new high. This is a the reason I love this strategy really is is look at this candle right here. The high was 82.75. The high on that candle 86.75. So no reason to get long there. Just yet. 440 pivot point to the downside there.
Pivot point there, 440s. So pretty much at this point now, we got to get back above the 80s for the Bulls to get through that 500 level. I'm trying to figure out, like, what's the... What does the market want to do here? Does it want to break through 500? Squeeze some more shorts. Like, where, where are they going to create the most liquidity at, I think, is the question to ask yourself. If the market moves here, where do they create the most liquidity? Selling to the downside. Do they run stops? Do we run it up to run the shorts? Hmm. Hmm. What's the game? They're playing the game. Pulling it back here, 440s. Four fifty twos. We got six minutes here till the three fifty algorithm. We'll get some more liquidity here. End of day. More liquidity. More action, baby. That's all we want. All right. I need more liquidity. I need more volume. More action. I mean, we're not really. We're holding up here. We're holding above that pivot point for now. We still have not made a new high above any of these candles. Patrick gives you the wrong signal, so you have to reset and use the code. How did you figure it out? <laughs> the problem is, like, if I was going to give you the, yeah, the, you probably, you would honestly probably do better taking the wrong signal. Just does it, it just works like that sometimes, you know? Someone said earlier, like, it's hard to lose money sometimes. I feel like I've had to lose money before where, you know, I just made too much money or whatever it is, and it's like impossible to lose money when you try. All right, we got four minutes here till the news comes out. Four minutes, oh, not news. Four minutes until we get um, the actual news. Or, wait, four minutes until uh, the end of day. MOC. MOC. Four minutes. Waiting for, waiting for whatever time you're waiting for when you're watching the charts. I feel like time just slows down. Y'all feel like that? Anybody else feel like that? You're like looking at the charts and you're like, okay, I'm waiting for 350. And then it's just like you're sitting here for three minutes and you're staring at the clock and it's barely, just barely moving. The, the, the time just ticks by one second, two seconds, three seconds. Four seconds. Five seconds. Yeah. Nah, 350 algorithm is going to kick in here. Just If you've never seen the 350 algorithm, just get ready, my friends. It's going to pop. Or drop. Or maybe pop and drop. Possibility of both things happening, honestly. Right now, I'm basically only looking for longs above the 80s. And uh, if we start selling 
Yeah, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I feel like it's hard. It's hard for me to try to try to try try to get short here. I could be wrong. I'm looking at the two minute chart, by the way. Two minute chart right now. We got the view up all the way down there. The three thirty twos. Can we get the breakout? Technically, we did get a new high there on the two minute chart, but I like to be careful. Just kind of maybe. Not like a not a convincing breakout right there. Still very much just downtrending here. All right, we got 30 seconds, my friends. 30 seconds. 30 seconds to party. See what happens here. Pivot point down there at the 40s. Dollar is pushing back up. Thinking we probably get a quick junt to the downside here. A little junt. Like that. Junt to the downside. If 40s holds, there's that 40 touch. Very uneventful so far here. Not much happening. Come on, algorithm, kick it in. They're holding that 40 level for now. Right there at the pivot. Previous resistance turning into support now. All right. Here we go, back from the 40s. Ooh, buddy, we're percolating here. Things are getting interesting. Just want to get through, basically. Trying to, like, get through this little area here, 65s or so. Still not, like, really going, you know? I want more go. More go! Go! Like that. More speed. I'm gonna try this long here. 50k. Eval. Are they gonna pop? Or just get stuck here and chop some more. Do not do this trade. Terrible. Do the opposite right now. Just do it. Do it. Do it. You'd be up a thousand bucks. We broke through that 60 level. I was kind of looking for that here. The dollar is selling off. Now we need to get through the 60, uh, 70s here. Get out of the 60s. I need to basically push up to 78s here. 78s is my target. 78s is my target. All right, we're up 2,000. We're live. Showed you guys the entry. Showed you the plan, the move. Can we get it? 75 to break, get up there towards the 80s, take me out of the 78s.
Should get some more liquidity to come in here at the 55, 355. And just denied. Ugh. I was up 2,000. I should have taken it there. Stopped out. Trailing stop. It got me. We needed to go right there. I was at 78 is what I needed. Look at it. Oh. Why are you going to do that to me? Why are you going to do that to me, market? I was looking for that push just right through the 75s to the 80s. We had the breakout. This idea here of getting above like kind of this previous area. We got long there for that push up there to the 75s, the high, and just got denied. So. Bah. Oh no. Oh, man. Can't make it up. <sighs> oh. Well, that would have been... I would have got hit. So, hey. We were there. We were close. Very, very close. Very, very close. So, I'm still green on the day. Still very much green on the day. It is what it is. So, we got our target. We hit that 78 level. 79, 25 was the high there. We tried. We tried. I was really thinking, I'm like, oh, is it going to happen? It's going to happen. No, I just got to die. It was still 2,000. It was, I was up 2,000. I didn't take profit because I wanted the full click. I wanted the full click there, but I told you guys I would, ro I would YOLO it. I would roll it there. Market's still pushing from my breakout, my setup there. Dollar is trying to make a new low, but the NASDAQ just stuck here for now. 75, 75 is holding us down. Tomorrow should be good. I think tomorrow and Friday, Thursday, Friday should be a lot of fun. Um, yeah. They're going to push this through the 80s now. Got to love it. You got to love it, people. Captain Price, I told you he is the biggest bull. Bro, I, it, 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 it. it. I don't get it. The market went up. I literally said, hey, I think it's going to go up. It went up. But, like, what do you want me to do? The market went up. It went up. Like, what am I supposed to do? 
I don't know. I just don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do I do? I don't know. I'm confused. Like, what did I do wrong? It went up. It's not about being bullish or bearish. I just was looking at the price action and didn't think that we were going to just dump that op at uh, the 350 algorithm. It's not about being bullish. Like, I really don't give a fuck either way. But if I think the price action is going to go higher, why would I be bearish? Or it doesn't matter. It's I read the price action. I trade the price action. I don't give a fuck. It's up there to the 80s. You know, like, but Patrick, but Patrick, you're always bullish. Patrick, you're always so bullish. Yeah, well, the market's going up. It's going up. What do you want from me? We got four o'clock. The bell, 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 bell. Bell, 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 bell. All right. It's done. We're over it. Tomorrow's Thursday. New day, new dollar. I don't give a fuck about what anyone's got to say. I'm trading the action. We're doing it live right here on YouTube. If you haven't already hit that like button, subscribe button, you know what to do. We'll be back tomorrow morning. And uh, yeah, FOMC, we're walking away. I think I made like stupid amount of money today. It's too, I made way too much money today. It's not good. I don't know. It's just, I made too much money. Too much money. Too, pretty much 2,600 times 11 accounts. Yeah, I don't know. Ugh, ugh, too much. Too much money. All right, so there it is. I'm going to get out of here. I got places to be, things to do, people to see. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for Turbo Thursdays. Thirsty Thursdays. Either way, we're back. We're doing it live. So make sure you tune in for all of the greatest and latest and most fun, fun, fun that you could possibly have. Just, just have fun, you know. I'll see you guys then. Let's just, let's all just, let's just have some fun. Look at that market. Straight up to the 500s. But, 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 Patrick, why are you always so bullish, Patrick? You're always bullish. You're so stupid. <laughs> you, I can't believe you would be bullish, Patrick. The market went up. What are you doing? You got to get short. You got to get short, Patrick. Get short now. All right, I'm out of here. Peace to the Middle East.